This is a brief demonstration to show taking non-spatial data uh, coordinate information and uh, basically passing that through FME to create some geometry. You can see I've got a couple of columns that contain IDs here. Uh, we also have some British National Grid X and Y coordinates stored in a CSV file. We're going to read that into FME into this simple process and produce some output. Essentially what you can see is that I have an input defined as CSV, uh, but FME supports over 275 different formats, so you can pick and choose your input and output format. Uh, common formats uh, for supply of uh, GPS information or uh, uh, coordinate information like this can be from uh, uh, GPX format, from uh, different uh, hardware units, uh, or ASCII text, or indeed CSV and Excel, as you can see here. Um, essentially what we do in this process is we take our data, the features they process through into a 2D point replacer that says, okay, at an X and Y location defined in the CSV, create me a point geometry. Those points, uh, bits of geometry, go down and get sorted into a particular order. And then the point connector creates where uh, they have a common root identifier uh, polyline and joins those points together. This attribute filter, all it does is say, if the root ID is equal to 1, then send it this way and create that polyline as red. Down the bottom here, I've just got a little bit of master map data just for context. These uh, visualizer transformers show me the data uh, so that I can uh, see uh, what I've achieved at each stage, and then we write the data out to map info tab as well at the end here. So if we just run this process quickly, it doesn't take many seconds to read in all those points, uh, and I'm going to push a, a view of the data out to the FME Universal Viewer. You can see here that we have a little bit of topographic area to give us some context. If I zoom in on this part of the uh, drawing here, you can see that the points have been plotted to indicate uh, the location of each of those GPS fixes, and then having joined them together, you can see that they are individual lines separated as you can see. So each of those points makes and is joined up there as a, as a polyline. So it's a simple little process just to take that, uh, that data and uh, you can see that if I pop open the, uh, the output data uh, here, uh, there's the tab file, the MapInfo tab file that's been created. So thank you very much. Hopefully that's a, a little overview of taking non-spatial data and turning that into some geography.